Hey everybody, thought I'd do another update while I'm in the mood. Uh, this is what we're listening to right now. Richard and Linda Thompson, Pour Down Like Silver, Carthage Records 83. This is what you are currently, whoa, hey girl, this is what you are currently hearing as a garbled, compressed mess in the background of this video. My webcam sucks, there's no way around it. I thought I'd spend this video talking about my CD collection. There's very few CDs in my collection, and it was because of CDs that I started collecting vinyl. I had my car stereo, my car CD player, my all-in-one record tape player, CD player, and my computer. They all died within a week of each other, so I had no CD player for a really long time. I have one now, this my girlfriend's computer, that is a recent development. So I whittled down my CD collection because I needed the money and I could use that money to buy music because I had a working turntable. So in honor of that mishap, I thought I'd highlight the CDs that made the cut and made the cut for so long. I've been in my life for a really long time. Let's see, first is uh, there's uh, this copy, Marvin Gaye's Vulnerable. I actually haven't listened to this in a really long time, but Marvin Gaye is one of my favorite singers. I'm a singer, and he means a lot to me. It's a really nice collection of standards that he really did not like. It was really new territory for him at the moment. And I actually can't recall if he was, if this is kind of, whoops, this is a posthumous sort of thing where it was released and probably didn't want it to be, or if he had decided that he wanted to do it, I can't remember, it's numbered, and uh, really nice material, really beautiful packaging, Marvin Gaye. This guy, one of my favorite songwriters, Jim White, has not released anything on vinyl except his latest record, which I haven't had a chance to listen to. I kind of, yeah, you kind of grow out of some artists. This Jim White first album, you know, these records were really meaningful to me at a time when I needed to hear meaningful music, meaningful words, and I'm trying to get back to that state of mind, but his new album will be waiting for me. When that happens, it's a great CD. Searching for Wrong Eyed Jesus, kind of like a lanky Tom Waits, just slinky music, really southern gothic. But this booklet, The Mysterious Tale of How I Shouted Wrong Eyed Jesus, this is the this is the tale. It's all here. We wrote it out for you. There's the Wrong Eyed Jesus. They tried to draw his eyes, but they couldn't. And so they kept erasing him, and so now there are these just dead, black, beady holes. Isn't that fun? This next album got a little bit more excited. Kind of David Byrne esque. I mean, it is on David Byrne's label, uh, Luaka Bop. I think that's how you say it. It's a great album, too. No Such Place. He really. Whoops. He's really serious about his lyrics. As you can see, he gives them the best context to exist while you're listening to the album. Look at this. This rules. See, he's okay. We're good. After that, this is my favorite. Drill a hole in that substrate and tell me what you see. First track, Static on the Radio. Everything we think we know is just static on the radio. Duet with Amy Mann. I love, love, love that song. It was on repeat. This whole album was on repeat. My last visit to the Grand Canyon. Just walked around the Grand Canyon with 
this album in my ears, changing my life, giving my moments meaning, Jim White. Then after that he released uh, Trans Normal Skip Roof. This one was a lot more fun. He's having a good time. I think he his kid was getting a little bit older. I don't know. Seems to have loosened up a little bit. His new album, he got divorced, so he isn't he's he, he's back to his old self. I really want to hear it. Uh, I just haven't had the time. Next two CDs, the Lilies, good shoegaze. In the presence of nothing. What do you do in the presence of nothing? Shoegaze. This is Slumberland. But it also says spin art. Does anyone know the connection there? The spin art. Part of Slumberland. I love Slumberland. This album is, I think, available on vinyl, but very hard to find, very expensive. So I think the CD is actually too. But here it is for me. Also, Lily's X Same the Photon Band. Kind of the same situation. This glare. It's got a, it's got me in it. It's kind of the same situation. I don't actually don't think this is on vinyl at all. But I, I forget his name. But this guy, this is a genius. He's a genius. He like hears the things that other people are doing. He's like, I can do this better, and then he does. This is his Kevin Shields impersonation. Impersonation. This one a little bit. He gets into more jangle pop territory, but still a good. Still a good approximation of that shoegaze, that famed shoegaze style. This is, some of you might be familiar with Bonnie Vare, aka Justin Vernon. He lived in the, lived around my neck of the woods for a while in a band called Diarm and Edison, who they split up, half that band became Megafon, worth checking out. And he became, of course, Bonnie Vare, Justin Vernon became Bonnie Vare. Uh, and right after he broke up the band, he put out this little Hazleton's EP. Yeah, that's the only name. It's called Hazleton's, and his band name is Hazleton's. And this is awesome. It's kind of a bridge between the Diarm and Edison stuff and the Bonnie Bear stuff, which just blew up. And I know people have a lot of opinions on him because a lot of people have heard him now. And of course, when that happens, you get a lot of polarized opinions. But this is great. And I think Forever Forever Ago, the album he put out after this, is also great. Charles Mingus. Too expensive. All the reissues. I just I can't afford it. Here they are on CD. They sound great. Granddaddy. This is my favorite era of Granddaddy. These are the B-sides from Software Slump through the Frosty Plate Glass EP. First movement message, Fade. His first track is beautiful. The first movement is, is there's a little bit of a noise to get through, but you get a beautiful song afterwards, and it's just this really lonesome sounding, terrified of technology music. It's like Hank Williams... I mean, I'm sure you've heard Granddaddy, but it's like Hank Williams in a in the 21st century, scared of technology. I don't know. Hank Williams might be generous, but that's the vibe I'm getting from it. The CD. Check it out. Look at that. Cool. I like it. I've I've been tempted to sell this on eBay for a quick, I don't know, forty, fifty dollars. A lot of times when I've been broke, but I'm glad I've kept it. I've always been, I've always restrained myself. We've got Air, Talkie Walkie, another one that's just really expensive on record and sounds, you know, I think it was made digitally, so it sounds great on CD. I'd love to have the, the vinyl record, but this music is just so thoughtful, considered. It's a lot like the equations on the album cover here. Um, but this one has a lot more heart, I feel, than their earlier works. Their earlier ones were kind of a little bit 
feels sterile, maybe. And then also air, virgin suicides, variations on the theme from virgin suicides. Very good music for, it's hard to say what it's good music for. Reminiscing, nostalgic background music. It's very good. And we've got, I think this is the last one. Yeah, sure. No, we'll have a couple more. Rocket Girl. This is a compilation of Rocket Girl indie pop tracks. There's some weirder stuff, some more accessible stuff. Through this box, I actually found out about Mazarin, Philadelphia jingle indie pop band who I, I really enjoy. Um, oh, here we go. Here's a list. Uh, Azusa Plain, Cold Harbor Stores, Experimental Audio Research, Her Space Holiday, Loop Drop, Piano. I don't recognize any of these man bands. <laughs> you might. They came from the stars. Carl the Workhouse. This lows on it. Uh, the spacing's really odd. P.S. I love you is on this. Um, the spacing's really odd, so I can't tell what's one band name. You know what I mean? Like the spacing's the same on all the bands, so I can't tell where a band name ends and where one begins. But this is really cool. It's just, I used to play this at uh, my old store a whole bunch. Both the CDs come in these little flimsy sleeves. But I used to play it because it's just a good, good mix of independent music. This is limited to a thousand. Thanks, guys. Nice little, I think this is, this is a star map of the Rocket Girl universe, which is very inventive and fun. Track info. Handwritten. I mean, you know, it's photocopied, but I like handwritten, handwritten liner notes. Well, that sums it up for my CDs. Thought I'd give them a tribute before I got started on, on more videos about vinyl. Thanks for watching. <laughs>